Hey everyone, Winstreak here. In a previous video, I mentioned health bars and briefly showed them, um, but I had an ex uh, a couple of questions come up, so I just wanted to make its own video here. And I pre-added all the sprites and code, so we're just going to do a little walkthrough um, of how the health bar works. Um, so I have two sprites. One is the actual bar itself, and then one is just the encasing um, which will hold the bar. So it'll sit on top of it and we'll oops, shrink it as the health leaves and add to it as we gain health. Um, and then we'll set a clamp in order to stop it from gaining health beyond the max point and dropping below the bottom point. Um, and then we do have to set our origins here. And this is just going to be where the position of this sprite is. So if I set this over on the left side, when I say I want this to be on position 270, 117, it starts it from this point and puts it outwards. And the main reason we do this is so when we change the width, it changes towards the origin. Um, if we left it in the middle, both sides would close in at the same time and it would shrink towards the middle, which is not the effect we're going for. Um, though it can be done if you want to do something different with your health bars, but this is just the classic way. Um, and then as far as code goes, we will have two buttons we can push, which are just two sprites, nothing special on them. One will add health, one will take health away. And then we have text here that will show us that we're adding health or taking away and tell us our current health. Um, key notes for here. First off, we need a max health and a current health. That is how the health bar knows how big to be. And the equation is right down here for us. And I'm going to break this down to smaller parts. So current health divided by max health is going to get the, you the percentage. So if you're at 88% life, this is how you figure that out, how much health you currently have divided by your max health. And then you're going to multiply it by the size of your health bar. So that's this red one. And we can see right here that we went with 98 by 18, so it's 98 wide. So we're going to multiply it by 98. That way when you're at max health, 100%, it's 98 pixels wide. And then we just threw an int on that to keep it as whole numbers, uh, not necessary. Uh, just a nice way to keep the numbers a little cleaner. And then around all of that, I have a clamp. And this will stop it. It will take this first number I input here, which is our um, which is our size of it. And then it will verify that it's not below 0 or above 98. And that's how a clamp works. You get three digits. Um, our first digit is just our whole algorithm here. Oops. Our whole algorithm here and then the min and the max. Um, so that will stop it from going outside of the range that we have set. And then uh, we just have a quick check for the numbers themselves to see if current health tries to drop below 0 and we just reset it to 0 or if it tries to go above 22 we reset it to 22. And then this last bit here I'm just appending text on to the end um, so up here it'll tell you you gained one health and then it travels down here through this little function and at the end of it it just adds your current health so you get to see it and we can see that in action you lost the health and you can see it slowly dropping one at a time and as I keep clicking you can't go below zero either in health or in your bar here and you can click one and you're back up and obviously you'd want some sort of check here in any game if you hit zero health um, compare variable current health is equal to or less than zero so it could just fall in this one and you would call your is dead function or you know some check to see if you somehow survived or uh, what happens next but this would be where you would add that and then this would be where you'd add anything any power-ups because you're at max health or something like that um, but that is the basics of a health bar. It's very simple. The code is 
or the algorithm, the math part is the hardest part. Um, and that's again right there for you. Current health divided by max health times the size of the sprite bar. And don't forget to set your origins um, on the far left side. And you can do the bottom left or top left or even on the right side. But generally the middle is not where you want it to go because again it closes inwards like this. And it's just hard to tell how much life that is. Um, but yeah, hopefully that clears some things up. And you all have a good one.